Hello, it's Malcolm Matosh here from Malcolm 3D. And today what we're going to be talking about using motion capture data files within Blender and how to transfer them across to other characters. Now we're going to be going through three different processes. One will be the most simplest. The second one will be using a paid add-on and third one is horrendous. So just a quick note, when we're importing BBH files, we go file import BBH. So these are the motion capture data files. If your motion capture data file is 60 frames a second, but your actual animation is 30 frames a second, what you want to do is enable scale FPS. So that'll bring that motion capture data file from 60 frames per second down to 30. And then obviously we've got loop the animation. So for instance, for a walk cycle, update scene FPS, we'll get it from the motion capture data file of 60 frames and apply it 60 frames per second to the blend file. Update scene duration is fairly straightforward. It'll update the scene duration from 250 frames to 800 frames. So first off what we got here, we've got this rig, which has our motion capture data file, which is from the Reillusion suite. And this character here is from Character Creator 3 from the Reillusion suite as well. So I know that these two rigs match up in terms of bone names and structure. So this is gonna be very straightforward. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select this bone come into the armature viewport display and we'll put that in front I'm going to expand the bottom of the screen here and in the editor type I'm going to change this to dope sheet I'm going to scroll out a little bit so we can see everything from here I'm going to select our armature with the animation we're going to go from dope sheet to action editor and let's just quickly rename this to motion chatting from here I'll go select our other rig and we can see that there's only the one keyframe which is obviously this pose if I come here and I select motion chatting, we can automatically see that that animation has now transferred onto this rig. So just to make this animation look a little bit nicer, I'm just gonna put it in solid mode and then we can press play and it's a bit laggy, but we can see that now the animations match up. In this next example, these rigs are completely different. So for instance, if I select this and I select this thigh bone, we can see that it's actually called Mixamo Rig leg, Left Up Leg. Whereas we come into here and we go into edit mode, we select this bone. It is selected, but we can see that it's called C underscore thigh underscore FK dot L. And we can even come here and select the head. And even this head bone is called Mixamo Rig Head. So they're com two completely different rigs. Now we're gonna be using the Auto Rig Pro. And if you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description and we're gonna be remapping these. So I'm gonna select our armature first, our source armature. We will just use the eyedropper, free source animation. And then I'm gonna select our other rig and use the eyedropper there. From here, I'm going to build bones list. And now we've got a list of bones. Now, luckily enough, Artel, who's the creator of Auto Rig Pro has already done all the work for us. What we can do is expand mapping presets and I can go open. And we've already got our Mixamo FK uh, BMAP, which is the file that he uses, except, and we can see that in this source list here, everything's already matching up. So we've got our hips uh, is our master. Um, you know, the index fingers have already been matched up, right arm, right arm, so on and so forth. So he's already done all the work. If you're using a rig that has different names or the armature has different names, then you have to do this manually the first time and then you can actually save the preset and then when you come back in again, you can just auto apply it. From here, all we need to do is click retarget and I'm just gonna go 200 frames just to speed it up and okay. And then if we scroll through it, we can see that the character is matching up to what the armature is doing. And the third way is the yuckiest way. So I'm only gonna do a little bit because I have no intention of doing the whole thing. We're gonna select our target rig, go into pose mode. I'm just gonna do the right arm. So I'm gonna select the right arm, come into object constraints. Oh, I'm sorry, come into bone constraints, select an add bone constraints, copy rotation. And then we're gonna come and select this armature. Has a bit of a hissy fit, but that's fine. And we wanna be grabbing this arm. So now if we come back into object mode, select our armature, go back into pose mode, have a look what this arm is. It's just called left arm, very convenient. Let's come back into here, back into pose mode, and we are looking for left arm. And then we would go down into the forearm, so add bone constraint, copy rotation, select our rig. I'm gonna kinda guess if I just type in arm, left forearm, and we can see that now we've got that. Let's just do the shoulder, add uh, copy rotation, of the armature, and I believe this might be clavicle. Nope, this might be shoulder, left shoulder. 
Oh boy. And that's how you kind of do it manually. So you can see that the arm is copying the other rig, but to do that with all the bones would be horrendous. Now, if you found this very useful, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, keeps up to date with my content. And if there's anything else you wanna know, please leave a comment down below.